up everyone? Welcome back to the show. My name is John Moore and well in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of the kickoff for Matterhorn by the Country Gentleman. Now this is going to be a fairly short video because this is a fairly simple song. In fact, it took longer for me to figure out what key they were doing it in than how long it actually took for me to learn the song. But I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the notes here because there's one little thing in it that's a little bit confusing. One, the tuning, figuring out where they're capoed up on the seventh fret, how are they tuning the fifth string, and well they've got their fifth string tuned up to a high D. Okay, so some people when they play in D, they'll have their fifth string at the same tuning as their D string. But in this case, or their first string, but in this case they've got tuned up to a high D. Now I'm going to go ahead and warn you guys, if you don't have railroad spikes on your banjo, do not attempt to tune your fifth string up to a high D. You will surely break your string. So do not, do not attempt this. In this case, I've got railroad spikes in my banjo. At least I've got one on the tenth fret, so I only have to tune my string up two frets, which is well within reason, which is within reason, at least for a fifth string. So we can make that work with that. Now we're going to start off this song with uh, probably the only confusing lick that's in this song because it's just an, it's an unconventional way to start off a song. We're going to be starting off with a backward roll and we're going to be doing a pull off on the third string from the third to the second fret. So it's going to, going to go like this. And then we're going to immediately after that pull off go back into that forward roll. So. And then we just go into the song. So I'm going to go ahead and play this real slow for you guys and let you guys see it. It's a really basic little melody. Pinch, pinch. And that's it. But you know, for as simple as this song is, this song, this kickoff has the most drive of just about any banjo break I've ever heard, despite its simplicity. And perhaps that drive comes from its simplicity. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like down below. And we'll subscribe if you'd like to see more little breakdowns and slowdowns from me there. And well, I'll see you in the next one. Later.